previously on the Novimpia channel. You'd be crap in a heist. And coming up... You look stupid. That would be correct. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimbia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get early access, exclusive content, and buyer's remorse. And a Cherie Blair to our brand new patrons, Ryan Weedle, Tomo, Toto, David, Zachary Brooks, Shannon Aceto, Evangeline Lorraine, Louise Doling, Andrew Romero, and Ronan King Rose. Start the shit show. On today's program, facing the mastermind chair, Nova, a fragrant pixie woman whose interests include Japanese RPGs and ugly earrings, and Olympia, a big-titted wonder credited with reviving a popular trend from the 1940s for wearing underwear made of paper. Hi there. Hi. And your name, please? Nova. Oh, that was very fast. Yes. <laughs> so you know who you are. Yes. Um, age? 28. Occupation? Drag queen. Debatable. And your specialist subject today, please. The Western release of Pokemon Red and Blue on the Game Boy. Right. And you've chosen that because? Because I've played it so many times. No. I feel like... No, no, no. Uh -huh. Because you're a dickhead. Oh. <laughs> I don't... No. Ah, uh, if you're prepared to start. No. The specialist subject is Pokemon Red and Blue. <clears throat> <clears throat> is there some sort of... Clock or something we can get. Oh, I don't. All right, we'll just start then. We'll just start. I, yeah. Pokemon Red and Blue. What is Misty's bra size? What is what? Misty's bra size. You uh, know all about this, so you should know it. <laughs> I'm going to say, because she's like an anime girl, she's probably going to have big titties, maybe a D cup. Uh, no, that would be um, a B, 31B specifically. She's got bigger tits than that. 31B, and I had to go into some real dark, fucking dark corners of the internet to find out that information, so you should appreciate it. Is this whole quiz going to be a piss take? If you choose Squirtle as your starter Pokemon, who will your rival choose? Bulbasaur. Oh, shit. You, yes, that's right. That is right. I know. <laughs> if you were battling me, and I told you to shove it up your clam, which Pokemon might you be using? <laughs> Shove it up my clam. A yeah. shoulder is the correct answer. That not that a great one? I'm really unhappy about these questions. Yeah, no, but that's good. That's fun. On the SS Anne, who gives you HM01? Oh, is it the captain? Oh, even I knew that one. It is the captain. Yeah. I did not know that one. <laughs> Which Gen 1 Pokemon shares a name with a character from Lord of the Rings? A character from Lord of the Rings. I love this. You don't Smeagol. know Smeagol. No, that's Gen 2. <laughs> Oh, do you have to take my first answer? Yeah, of course I do. No. Sme is there a Smeagol? Well, it's spelt differently. It's called Smeagol. Smeagol. So that's not the same, is it? It's very close. No, it's wrong. What's the answer? Gollum. But that's also spelt differently. Yeah, but it's it? the same name, though. I can't believe we said the same character. First of all, <laughs> yeah, that's you're so stupid because that was actually sort of right, but that's wrong. <sighs> but how embarrassing for you that... Anyway. Gym leader Erica uses which kind of Pokemon? Grass. Yeah, how did you know that? Because I know she wears the kimono. No. What's that? Why, why would that is be associated with grass? Because sense. there's a creepy guy who stands outside of her gym and like pervs on all of the trainers and Erica because they're all so pretty and he just like looks through the window. You don't? No, all right. Okay. All right. Well, well done on that one. Congratulations. Ah, where is the Team Rocket hideout in Celadon City? In the game corner. No, shut up. That's good. <laughs> that is right. You knew that one. Yes. I can't believe this. <laughs> what do you mean? Fuck, you're such an asshole. Like, who knows that? It's my specialist subject. Well, it shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> God. They're dropping like flies. Which Pokemon design is said to be inspired by Charmaine Diamond White? Uh... Now, don't forget, this is Gen 1. This is Pokemon Red and Blue, you said. A Grimer. I would accept Grimer. What were you going to say? <laughs> Popping. No, um, Snorlax. Oh, Snorlax. Because she's quite big. <laughs> also, get this into your head. Lick your tongue. Really look at it. I can see that. Really stare at that. I can see that. Just mill over that for a second. Yeah. Put a wig on a lick a tongue. The two items that must be picked up in the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City are HM03. What the fuck is HM mean? Hidden Machine. 
What does that mean? It's a machine that can teach a Pokemon a certain move. Machine Gun Kelly. But an HM is a move that has use outside of battle and also you can't um, delete it. I know like words came out of you just then, but I did not listen to a single thing you what just said. What was the said. question? Is, is the answer gold teeth? It was HM03 and what? It's gold teeth. What is a gold tooth? What is that? What does that do? It's the warden's lost his um, gold teeth. How does that happen to a person? I don't know, but he's lost them. So you, if, if you find him and he, he can't understand what he's saying, but then if you find him and give him the gold teeth as a thank you, he gives you HMA3. Okay, excellent news. <laughs> In what year were Pokemon Red and Blue released? 90s. Oh, I don't know what year they were released oh, in America. Oh. I'm going to go with 90s. Seven, only because I feel like the Japan release was 96 and I don't think it was a very quick localization. So it's funny to me that you are you are telling me that it's Pokemon Red and Blue but the Western version is what you've that's what you said is your subject. Yeah. But this morning when I asked you what the specialist subject was you just said Pokemon Red and Blue. Well then oh well well then if you're not specifying then 96. Well yeah it is 96. Oh right. But like I'm just you know, there are some Jap- Japanese questions in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to bear that in mind. Hopefully you, they won't have any You've got to be more specific, <laughs> darling. What does... Okay, re- get this now. What? <laughs> what does the president of Silfco reward you with upon defeating Team Rocket in Saffron City? A Master Ball. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to bother asking. At this point, I don't... I really don't care. I ain't never get anything <laughs> right. Oh, I haven't kept score. Oh. <laughs> I think I've only got one wrong. I'll go back through. I can remember. Hang on. Both in red and blue, which is the only Pokemon to have a name inspired by an astrological sign? Dickhead. Ooh. I knew you wouldn't get this. It's so easy. Dickhead. An astrological sign. You're a dickhead. Why am I a dickhead? Because it's so simple. Uh... People are screaming this. Are you going to pass? Well, I can't think of any. Uh... Um, the answer is Taurus. Oh. <laughs> but right. you feel like a right simp. You do feel stupid. Ah. You look stupid. That would be correct. Yes, that is right. Yeah. Uh, which Pokemon lends its name to a slang term for vagina? I beg your pardon. Would you like me to read the question again? A slang term for vagina? Yes. I've not made this up. This is real life we're talking about here. Not Pikachu. The correct answer is Pikachu. What is I wrong would with have people? I would have accepted Alakazam. <laughs> 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 no! It's Pink people call it a Pikachu. I've never heard that before. I'm sure there's probably more. Squirtle. No, oh. oh, no! Shut up! Don't say that. Stop it. How do you get are you ready? Yes. Have you been ready for any of this? Not really, no, but I'm doing pretty well, I think. Oh, welcome back. Ah, <laughs> uh, before the break, Nova was on. <laughs> and now, Nova, mastermind. How do you get into Cinnabar Island Gym? You need to find, you've got to go into the, what is it called? It's like the abandoned, like, lab or something. And you find a key to unlock the door. It's, you need to get a secret key. Yes. I will accept, <laughs> I'll accept what you said. Thanks. But, you know, you gave me a bit too much of this. I just oh, needed key. But I was I need to know how you got there and what you ate on the way and if it was a great journey or not. If you use like a travel card. <laughs> so I get the point. No. Yes. 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 With a sexually suggestive name and mouth like a blow up doll. Which Pokemon can be found in the Pokedex numbered 69? Is it a Weeping Bell? No, it's a Bell Sprout, but that was so Fuck. close. Weep- Weeping Bell's got a bigger mouth. It's just like. Yeah, it has. Weeping Bell is just really all mouth. Yes. A little bit like Sha. I can't believe that. She's all it's fucking well gob. It, okay, this is a great one, actually. Uh-huh. Uh huh. What is the correct order in which you face the Elite Four? Hard one. I can't even remember all of their names. Lorelei is first. Yes. Then Bruno. Is his name Bruno? Yes. Then 
Agatha than Lance. Oh my, you, oh, I hate this. When, I thought, right. when I thought about it, I did know it. <laughs> that's right, but don't you hate yourself for knowing that? No. Yes, well, you should do. I've played this game so many times. Reassess some things. Which first gen Pokemon's name is Greek for Airfinger? Airfinger? Yeah. You know it. We all know it. Everyone knows this. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um... Just translate it from Greek. Great, thanks. Thanks for that. Um, I've got no idea. Um, it's Aerodactyl. That makes sense. Dactyl. Yeah. Because a pterodactyl sense. is um <laughs> is a winged. Is it winged finger? I can't remember what it is. Well done. I did the research. Okay. You do the math. Right. Okay. Um, what is my favorite Pokemon, please? Weedle. Oh yes! <laughs> I questioned why you have a random Weedle on Pokemon Go that you won't delete. Because Weedle was always my favourite. That's cute. It's not. It's just such a sweet, charming little piece. Hard to find a Pokemon Red. Hard More to find good Red. food in this house. That's uh, rude. Really hard to find good grub round here. That's not true. Who designed all 151 original Pokemon? Who designed them? Yeah. I, I would want to say Ken Sugimori. Is the correct answer. Yes. Thank you very much. He still has like final say on most stuff, but I don't think he designs them all anymore. Arigato. <laughs> and, okay, this one, you, I, I'd be surprised if you got this one, but like super interesting, I think, mm. is which Pokemon's original prototype names were Nye and La, as in NY and LA? Oh. One was called Nye and one was called La. Like NY and LA. Oh. Which ones? Can you just let me do this? N-Y-L-A. So it's two together, obviously. Yeah, I do, uh... Got to press you for time. Ah! We've got to know. send the crew home in know. a minute. I don't know. It's coughing and wheezing. You know what I was thinking? Because like, of like... Grimer or Muck, I was thinking, but I yes. thought, is that a bit anti-American? But mind you, that's probably well, why they changed it. Well, that's why they changed it. They wanted to do it because of like, I pollution. I was thinking poison type. Because of like, type. NY yeah. and LA and stuff. Yeah. So, Nova, at the end of that, you got, hang on... I did pretty well. You got 14 out of 20 points. No, I got more than that. 14. I got more than that. You didn't. You got 14. That's a lie. No, go to the tape. No. Uh... You got 14. Shut up. <laughs> Hi. Yes. What's your name? Olympia Avalanche, MBE. I'm not sure that's correct. A Dame. Age? About 29. Occupation? You tell me. So what is your specialist subject today? My specialist... <laughs> My specialist subject is the um, independent horror movie, 1999 horror movie, The Blair Witch Project. Great one. Okay, we have some questions for you. Is somebody there ready to start the clock? Yep. What year was the found footage recorded in? 1994. That is correct. Yes. What was the name of the girl who went missing from Burkittsville in 1888, only to return three days later speaking about a woman whose feet never touched the ground? I'm going to say Robin Weaver. That is correct. Oh, shit on it. What, Shh. what year was the film released? I can do you better than that. It was released October 22nd, 1999. <sighs> This is so boring. The Blair Witch is said to be the ghost of which woman banished from Blair in 1785? Ellie Kedwidge. Right. <laughs> what is the name of the building the final scenes of the film were shot in? The... What have I got you? You've sort of got me because I know roughly what it is. Is it the Griggs house? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, God, you're so... Yeah, this is... I'm sorry, but I'm going to win this. The lore and legend of the film is explored in a Thai mockumentary with what name? What? Oh, Thai in. I thought you meant Thai, like Drag Race Thailand. No. Oh, <laughs> it's a documentary. Yeah, I know what they you're talking about. They sold it as a documentary. I've seen this, but I don't know what it's called. That is a documentary, a legit one, which I'm not aware of, that was made um, the following year. Po First of all, Pooh, um, tell ask me the question again. The lore and legend yep. of the film is explored in a tie-in mockumentary with what name? No. No. First of all, shut up and tell me what it is. Curse of the Blair Witch. Oh, see, but I knew it was something like that. Right, what you didn't know. No, did I you? didn't know it. Didn't know, did you, darling? Which award did the film win at the 20th Golden Raspberry Awards? 
awards multiple. Just one. It, it, only one won. It was nominated It was for, for Worst Actress for Heather Donoghue. It was. <laughs> which I think is such bullshit, because she really did a great job in that. Yeah, but a lot of those awards are a bit bullshit, aren't they? The cast was found through a casting call published in which magazine? Backstage magazine. You are so lame. Yes! Why did the directors decide to kill off Josh first? Is it because he was only hired because he could work a camera? Okay, so that would be the correct answer if I asked why did the directors hire Josh? And I why asked did they get rid of why was he killed first? Well, I thought maybe they thought because the other two had more acting shops, they would leave them in it for longer because he was hired because he could... It's well good, this answer. He could work a camera. No, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure about that one. He used to turn up late all the time and it pissed everyone off. <gasps> Josh, he, Josh Leonard, he's the only one who still acts. I know. He's, I used to have such a crush on him. He's such a piece. What was the code word the actors would use when they needed to break character? Now, I really I have, thought you'd know this one. I ha is it taco? Yeah. I, I don't know why that stuck in my head. It was, I was going to say either that or burrito. Have a life. Who knew about fucking HMO3, HM Larkle, prison Larkle, whatever it is. <laughs> what? Her Majesty's prison of Pokemon, whatever the fuck. How long was the editing process for the film? The editing process. Yes. <sighs> was it about eight months? It was. On is that actually correct? Is that yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is this is far much too easy for me. In one scene, Heather tried to recall a Bible quote Mary Brown mentioned to her. What was it? It was Esau, but it was something about a pile of rocks. No, that was a trick question. Nobody knows. It's an orphaned reference. Even the directors can't remember what she was talking about. They have no idea. Well, that was the, that's the quote from Heather. She said it was Esau, but it was something, I don't know what Esau is. Oh. E-S-A-U. E oh, well. But she didn't know. So, I've, right. I, that is a correct point for me. I feel like it is. <laughs> I hate that because I try to catch you out. Ow! What star sign is Heather? Well, I suppose that would be dependent on me knowing her birthday. Well, yeah, do you? In real life. Yeah. <laughs> Does that have anything to do with the film? Well, she was in it. Oh, that's hard, isn't it? Well. Uh, well, I'm going to say Taurus. A, tr a true fan would know. <laughs> oh my God, no, it's not Capricorn. Just because that would be hilarious <laughs> if I didn't know, but I just said it and it happened because you didn't Can know. Can you it. imagine? Taurus. Are you ready for the, your, next, your next question? This one I'm going to get you with. Okay. The name Rustin Parr was inspired by an anagram of which real life spooky person of history? I've got no idea. Rasputin? Not... Yes. I know it. I know them all. I'm Nova. so sick of this. I'm sorry, but I know, I know them. I'm just, I'm real good. <laughs> How much are the actors paid a day during shooting? Oh, no, I don't know that one. Um, were they paid in tacos, would it seem? So? No, I don't know. I actually don't know that one. They're a daily rate. Like a few hundred dollars? No, it was a thousand dollars. That's good, isn't it? Isn't it? For eight days of filming, That's yeah. quite reasonable, isn't it? Well, back then, I mean, probably a fraction yeah, of what they could have earned. Yeah, that's good, though. Um, what was the film originally titled? Oh, now you're asking me. I am asking you. Hmm. Is it something to do with like oh, poo? No, not something to do. Is it? <laughs> is it Erin Brockovich? No, no. The Blair Witch tapes. Oh, that's so shit. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't go with that's dumb. The Erotic Witch Project is a series of Blair Witch porn parodies. What was the fourth film in this series called? Um, I don't know. Get me inside, Cherie Blair. <laughs> it was called The Erotic Witch Project 4, Lust in Space. <laughs> the, who do I speak to about that? <sighs> this is not a quality question. Uh, Josh Leonard went on to star in, direct, write and produce which 2020 feature film? No. <laughs> that, that, that's uh, your answer, 2020? See, the only thing I've, I, I can remember him being in recently was that one with... Was it Claire Foy, Unsane, where you don't know if she's a bit off a rocker or not? I think he was in that, but that's not... He did not he star, was, direct, write and produce yeah, that. Yeah, no. Oh, no, I don't know then. It's called Fully Realised Humans. No. Uh, who starred as Heather in the 2000 short comedic parody, The Blair Bitch Project? But who made that? I've never heard of that. Mustn't have been any good. <laughs> um, Heather Graham? It was Linda Blair. I thought that was well cool. That's bad. That sucks for Linda Blair. <laughs> She's got nothing on. And this is your final question. Oh, no, I've got less than you have. The Blair bitch is a drag queen from which US state? 
Well, there's several. There's also wow. a Blair bitch over here. So I don't, I mean, Maryland? New York. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll take the point. Um, <laughs> I got less than you, Jeez. I've not been keeping score. Oh, that's unprofessional. <laughs> you only got 11 right. <gasps> 11 out of 20. That's, that sucks. That's one embarrassing. I thought you were like super Blair Witch fan. You're a fake fan. I knew. I knew stuff. You're a fake fan. Yeah, but I made your questions easy because you're so stupid. Thank you for that. You are so welcome. How was hard that was. I thought you were going to do really hard questions for me. <laughs> yeah, right. well, I should have done in retrospect, but you're so well, stupid. No, no, no. To be fair. Stupid. You thought that some of those questions were hard and I just knew them. I know. I knew you would get them. Get your clammy ass. We're going to swap over now. Throw them the ring quickly. She made this ring. She wants everyone to see it. All right, you happy now? Yes. Well, with 14 to the other contestants, 11. Sorry, I'm just going to move some thigh over. A bit of thigh got trapped. Right. Just a bit. You've got two minutes on the clock to answer these general knowledge questions. I hate general knowledge. And then we're going to sum it up, sum it up, tally it up. And see if you are today's oh. mastermind going through to the final. I hate this. There's no final. Two minutes are on the clock now. Oh. Okay. What is the Italian word for pie? Pizza. Correct. What is the national flower of Wales? Don't know. Daffodil. <laughs> <laughs> Which Australian marsupial enjoys eating eucalyptus? Koala. Correct. Which reptile should you never smile at, according to the song? A crocodile? Prick, yes. Um, Alfred, shut up. Alfred, an ancient king of Wessex, is famous for burning what? What? No. King of Wessex? Is faint king of Wessex. Is famous for burning what? No, the quick. Witches. No, cakes. Don't be so rude. Well, I don't know. In nautical terms, what is the opposite of port? Starboard. Starboard. How do you say it? Starboard. Yes. Starboard. <laughs> Are you... Testing my patience. How many bones are there on a skull and crossbones? Four. Three. But isn't like the lower jaw a different bone? No, it says three here. What was Marilyn Monroe's natural hair colour? Dark blonde. She was ginger. I did not know that. What is the world's tallest tree? I don't know. The Coast Redwood. What name was given to the soldiers who protected Roman emperors? <laughs> um... Imperials? No, that's... You're thinking of Star Wars. This is Praetorian Guard. Oh. Which two metals is pewter made from? Not a clue. Tin and lead. What was Louis Armstrong's chosen form of music? Dunno. Jazz? Jazz Nova. What? Shit. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. That's <sighs> time up. Shut up. Oh, God. That was a lot, wasn't it? What did Louis Armstrong do? Jazz. Yeah, but, like, what? What would I know? Like what? 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 His famous jazz music, no Yeah, but like, what did he do? Did he play? Did I'm he gonna sing? tally did up. He, I'm just gonna tally up. You don't know your answers now. You don't know. I just kept thinking of like, who was the one that went to the moon? Neil Armstrong. <laughs> yes. Yeah, not the same person. Louis Armstrong. I'm now. We might cut this bit. <laughs> did Louis Armstrong not do? I see. Fields of green. I have no idea. Red flowers, sky bloom. I don't know. Well, let's, should we look it up? Louis Armstrong, What a Wonderful World. Oh, there you go. What a well, wonderful said, you tree. Said, uh, is there not like some computer to do this? You four. You got four. Fingers. You I got, got four. four. That was shit. You got I four. Got Which takes your score to, uh, to 18. So I've got to get seven to tie. <sighs> Eight to win. That's a lot, isn't it? That's a lot. Are you ready for your general knowledge question? I feel sick as a parrot. Let's go for it. <laughs> What is a quarter of a thousand? 250. Correct. Oh, I feel sick. What is larger, 50% or five eighths? Five eighths. Correct. How many sides in total would three triangles and three rectangles have? 21. Correct. Who changed the name of his ship from the Pelican to the Golden Hind? Ch Chaka Khan. <laughs> Sir Francis Drake. Oh, yeah. What is a manzanilla? A manzanilla is a, an instrument. No, it's a light sherry. Yep. What is entomophobia? Entomophobia. Fear of words? 
No, Fear of Insects. Shit. Name the actor who died in 1984 and who also starred in the film in 1984. Orson Welles. Richard Burton. (laughs) Who invented the bikini? Oh, some pervert. Louis Reard. Which Scot founded the Presbyterian Church? The... Oh, Anne Anne Whittingham's mum or something. I don't know. (laughs) John Knox. Yeah. When did the French Revolution end? 1718. 1799. Oh, yeah. Which ocean surrounds the Maldives? The uh, Ind- Indian Ocean. Yes, correct. What is the name of Europe's most northern town? I don't... Err... Uh, L- uh, Err, is it? It's Hammerfest in Norway. All right. Who was the last prisoner to be held in the Tower of London? Anne Boleyn's pussy. Rudolf Hesse. Which Tasmanian marsupial is known for its fiery temper? The devil, a Tasmanian devil. Yes, correct. Who was the lover of the Roman known as Mark Antony? Cleopatra. Correct. Which summer desert is often eaten during Wimbledon's tennis matches? Shh, uh, eat and miss. Uh, I'll take that. Strawberries and cream. What happened to the racehorse named Shagar in 1983? Shagar, uh, Shagar. went missing. He was kidnapped. Yes. In J.M. Barry's novel, what did the... L- oh. Did I get missing? He went missing. Kidnapped. He was kidnapped, though. Yeah, but he went missing. How do you stop this? Let's tally. Oh, I the feel points. sick. I don't think I got eight though. I think I did well. They oh. were hard. Actually. They were hard. <laughs> they were real fucking Fine. hard. <gasps> I don't believe it. Did I get eight? Did I, did I get eight? You got eight. Which I don't know. I think that means I'm on nineteen. I can't believe it. <sighs> I'm. You've got to just do better. Yeah, but you know what? If I don't give you the point for missing, then you're only on seven. I, th- I choose to believe that's the same thing because it did go missing. That's not wrong. I said it isn't wrong. Yeah, but they How... know it was kidnapped. So that's different to just going missing. Okay, you're going to go missing and be kidnapped and then bug it up the ass. That's a bit rude and naughty, actually. Well, I, I would be happy to to tie if you'd like to tie. Yes. Uh, okay. I don't know how that works. Oh, that's not... Well, we just tie then and we both go home with the bowl. <laughs> The bowl? On Mastermind, you win a bowl. Is that I... like a tiebreaker? No. Oh. No, we can share the bowl. We'll live together. All right. So we'll, have, we'll both have the bowl. I'll take that. Yes. Because I'll probably use it most. Also, I don't... I've, I've literally just said, why don't we tie? And then you're like, well, should we not do a tiebreaker? Don't be cheeky and try and take the win. I've offered <laughs> you a tie. That's what I want. I'm not, not so interested in a tie. No, I well, that's what you're more getting. interested in the second chance of winning. Don't be fucking greedy. <laughs> that is That never did, it, did anyone any good. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, are you, uh, we're back from the studio I've got set up. Itchy under boob. Is that what I can smell? Thank you for joining us for Mastermind. It uh, was a tie. It was a tie. Sort of. No, it well, was yeah. a tie. That was a missing and kidnapped are not the same thing. Comment down below. It was a support, tie. In support of me, but missing and kidnapped are not the same thing. Because missing, you don't know what happened to him. But kidnapped, you know what happened to him. Different thing. No, you don't. You know they were kidnapped. We don't, yeah, but we don't know what happened to Madeleine McCann, but she went missing. Yeah, so we, we don't know. say she's been kidnapped. We say she's gone missing. But she was kidnapped. No, but you don't know that. Yeah, Whereas we this, do know this that. Horse, we yes, know we was do. kidnapped. Don't call her a horse. <laughs> okay. Happy, happy, I was going to say happy birthday then. Oh, yeah, it is. Happy birthday too. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday to our uh, patrons. So the cult elders and the arch druids over there, who are the top two tiers, get birthday shout outs. So February 17th, it's Mark Leonard. Happy birthday, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. Uh, February 18th was Jen Myers. Happy birthday, Jen. Uh, Jen, so gorgeous. I remember when Jen sent in a, um, a secret Santa and she was so pissed. She was on the sofa and she was just pissed. Oh my God, I remember. Yeah, it was so great. Happy birthday, doll. Megan for February 22nd. Happy birthday, Megan. And then we also have Charlotte for Feb 23rd. Happy birthday, Charlotte. Oh, our social media is here if you want to follow what we do on social media. Uh, over there. It was a tie. You say my boobs are hard. Yeah, but mine look Yours, realistic. Like, like, Yours don't look to that. good. They don't look good. No, don't do that. Mine look great. You're not cutting it, baby. Mm. It was a tie. It was a tie. It was a tie. Certified. Shah calls me a certified pig. <laughs> so rude. And also... Um, if you'd like to join the Patron, there will be a message afterwards. Nova, would you like to make the noise? Ow! Oh, she's full of piss and vinegar today, because usually she just sits there and goes, no, I'm not going to do it, because I'm... All right, cheers then. Bye. All right, is that it? Thumbnail. 
Yeah, but like, I might just pull something together from from the stuff at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Is that it then? Yes. I'm legitimately off. not oh. going to cook something though. Yeah, all right. It's Wednesday. It's what we do now. Can you Wednesday. just get a grip? Join the Patron. We'll do a shot of Patron. 